This trick is called black hops, and it looks like this. So black hops, it starts with a triple or nothing, uh, which is exactly like double or nothing, except you're going to allow it to pass around your fingers just one more time. And when you do this, you want to make sure to try to keep the strings spread apart on your fingers, just like this, and that will make uh, the descending hops that you do off of this trick uh, quite a bit easier. And so once you have the yo-yo into your triple or nothing, uh, what I like to do is I like to hop the yo-yo side to side, and so as you jump the yo-yo up, you're going to let the uh, string off of the finger that's closest to the yo-yo, and then you're going to hop the yo-yo off to the opposite side a little bit. And the reason why you want to do that is because the strings are going to be spread apart just a little bit further when you do that. And when you're doing black hops, you want to make sure that you're always landing on just the outside string. So uh, yeah, just a couple of those tips, just keeping the strings spread apart on your fingers and hopping to either side uh, where the string is furthest apart, that should help you land that trick just a little bit more often. So once you've gone through that, you're going to end up in a trapeze, and then you get to go into the second half of the trick, which is really uh, the harder part of the trick. And for this, what you're going to do is hop the yo-yo up, and then cross your hand past the string, and then kind of hook it and bring it back out and land it again on the outside string. And you're going to do this, uh, you're going to always try to land it on just the outside string, until you get it um, basically three times out, just like you would for your triple or nothing. And then you're going to let these fingers uh, drop the string, and you're going to twist the yo-yo out uh, two times, again, uh, similar to how you would in triple or nothing. Uh, but again, this part is pretty tricky, so let me give you a couple of tips on that. So uh, the first thing is, is um, once you get the first one, and then you're going to go for the second one, what you'll see me do is I kind of bend my finger down uh, and out just a little bit, and that helps push the string back to the top of this finger. And you'll see I do the same thing with this finger uh, when I hop it off of here. And at the same time, I also point the finger that I'm using to get the string up and out to the outside a little bit. And that, again, just helps push the rest of the strings back onto the back of the finger that's about to catch the yo-yo. And uh, a lot of times, kids, they feel like their fingers are going to be too small to do this trick. But if you're doing that same thing where you are constantly keeping the string onto the back part of your finger, then you'll always have enough room to catch the yo-yo, really, no matter how small your fingers are. So just about anybody should be able to learn this trick, uh, even if they're very young. And this is one of those tricks that just takes tons and tons and tons of practice to get down. Uh, I learned it by just practicing the first half all by itself until I got a lot better at doing these types of hops, just bring the yo-yo down. And then once I got that down pretty well, I would start with a trapeze and work on the second half of the trick. And uh, again, it's still really challenging to get every single time. Uh, but once you practice it, you, you can get it and you can really nail it and just get used to um, hitting it just right every single time. And uh, it's just kind of a great trick for showing off, but it's also the pinnacle of the trick ladder. And so if you're uh, someone who has ambitions to go through the trick ladder, this is one that you really need to get down. But just keep practicing it. It will take a long time, but eventually you'll get it, and that is Black Hops.